Breaking news. <laughs> they said Buhari is in Kenya to stop President Kenyatta from exposing him over Unandis Kanu's arrest. Remember, Nigerian government has still not been able to tell the world where and how he got Unandi Kanu from. Everybody continued to ask, how did you get him? For instance, now in the case of Abba Kiari, there is proper documentation on how this is going. Every Tom, Dick and Harry can tell you that, a prop, that the, the, the formalities, the whole process has been, they will call it all protocols, that has been duly observed. That's the way they put it. All protocols duly observed. Yes? Now, in the case of our very own brother, Nandi Kano, however way he got to Kenya, I can't tell you because he's a British national. He has British citizenship. Yes? So, how he got there, if he was ignotized, I don't know. Maybe he was on a business trip, I don't know. However way he got to Kenya, yes, he was now kidnapped by Nigerian government who everybody keep asking the same question. Where is the extradition, you know, uh, proceedings? Where is the legal framework to re formally request that such a person, an individual has come into your terrain, to your territory, and we want him because blah, 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 back in Nigeria? Nobody can tell you. Should I interest you? The ambassador to Kenya was to testify on Unandi Kanu's matter. The guy died. Buhari don't go Kenya now. Nah. May we get all the matter. Exposition on. Buhari in Kenya to stop President Kenyatta from exposing him over Unandis Kano's arrest. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB on Thursday, accused the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, President Mohamed Buhari, of traveling to Kenya to cover up his alleged role in the extradition order. Rendered, of, rendered to his leader, Mazi Unandi Kano. IPOB spokesman Ima Powerful alleges that Buhari traveled to Kenya to incite President Kenyatta to cover up his role in the rendition of Kano. Kano was rearrested and repatriated to Nigeria in June of 2021 from Kenya by secret agents. Still very unclear and sketchy on how this all happened. Buhari is currently in Kenya on an official visit. The Kenya's government has severally denied knowledge of Kanu's arrest and departure from his country, having no knowledge of how any of this happened. However, powerful claim that Buhari is trying to prevent Kenyatta from leaking his involvement in, Kenya, in Kanu's rendition. In a statement is signed, Powerful said, We are the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, under the leadership of our great leader, Mazio Nandi Kano. We want to tell the world why President Muhammad Buhari went to Kenya. Buhari went to Kenya to ask the president, Kenyatta, to see to it on how both of them could collide to in covering up the crime against humanity, which they committed via their rule in the extradition rendition of our leader, Mazi Unandi Kano. Buhari doesn't want Kenyatta to leak more information about what transpired in Kano's extradition rendition. The revelation so far made the Kenya's courts have made Buhari very uncomfortable. Hence his, this, hence his urgent dispatcher to stop further revelation on coming out and being exposed. Nigeria and Kenya knows what fate awaits them over their dipl diplomacy and diplomatic position in, in, in a diplomatic government. Both presidents hold meetings on how to cover up these atrocities. Both presidents know that they are guests of the international court and cannot escape it. We therefore urge the international community to monitor President Muhammad Buhari's scheduled trip to Kenya. Buhari and his ally will never succeed in their desperation to cover up what they have done to our leader, Mazi Onandi Kano. So this is what is happening. The indigenous people of Biafra feel very strongly that there is something not right going on. So this is what is happening, okay? So the indigenous people of Biafra are saying, well, Buhari is there. This trip he has gone is a cover-up trip, 
okay, because they know their involvement and what they have done, you know, to Mazun and the Kano. And so they are trying to make a quick cover up. And so Buhari's government and the Kenya government, because of their whole involvement and everything being in, they are trying very hard. Okay, and the truth of the matter is when they keep covering up such atrocities and wickedness, not everything remains covers. Not everything. We brought you up to speed that the Kenya's ambassador to Nigeria, you know, was to testify on Andy Kano's case. And guess what? He, he slumped. There was no, no just, he just slumped and he, he has gone. Yeah, he has gone. I mean, he has gone. Don't work. I don't work. I go. I mean, he's, 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 he's taking the next flight. He's gone back to his maker. So, Nandi Kanu's, uh, you know, IPOB are saying, this is what is going on. Don't get it twisted. Buhari and this man, what they are trying to do is call a cover-up. What they are trying to do is a real cover-up. So, nobody should think that um, he's just going there for, you know, meetings and the rest. No, there's more to these meetings than beneath the eyes. It is a meeting of cover-up according to IPOB. And it's saying to the international community, a caution call that they should pay attention to what is going on and they should you know make sure that they are alert as to what buhari and you know and this governor and this uh, president is doing to the indigenous people of biafra and to mazi unandi kano so the, the matter is on a lot of persons and people are particularly you know not happy very upset with how mazi unandi kano got to nigeria with the nigerian government not being able to adequately tell anybody what has happened, how it happened, you know, and what is their involvement. They can't say because they know, you know, what fates await them. You can't do some things that is wrong and you expect that it will just turn out right, you know. So these are some of the things going on and um, IPOB is of the opinion that uh, Buhari is there on a cover-up mission and he will not succeed. And this whole cover-up will be exposed, you know, very soon. It will be all be exposed. So these are some of the things going on and um, we'll keep you up to speed. You know, Buhari's government continue to, you know, do things. And um, at the end of the day, you can see for yourself some of the things that are going on. And you know that there is really serious call for concern. And everybody needs to wake up from the current predicament. If we want to make a change, that time to make that change is now. That time to arise and that time to make a real difference is now. But we cannot continue with the same formula and expect a different result. No, it's, it's practically almost impossible. Okay, or it's almost impossible. When you want a different result, then you must apply. Okay, you must apply some other formula, something different. Leave us a comment. God bless you. Bye for now.